See, watch this. They all betrayed him. But they all, but the rest of them repented. Right. Judas, all Judas had to do was say, forgive me, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He even gave one act of it. He threw the 30 pieces of silver back. Right. They didn't even want it. They didn't want it back. They didn't want it back. Nope. But he didn't say, God, forgive me. That mm. was his downfall. He ain't never been Exactly. Never been exactly. And that's the thing. That's the downfall of people today. That's it. And they won't repent. I tell people all the time, especially brothers, man, the scripture, and I think it's in Isaiah, that says a woman shall compass a man. Okay, you don't, you don't want to give that woman her proper place? No, I know at home, you're married, she's the husband, she's the wife, you know your duties. But don't tell me that woman can't preach like me, have enough anointed like me, can't prophesy like me. Well, brother, ain't no more prophet. No, I do have a struggle with women calling themselves apostles, mm -hmm. okay? Because I can't find that one. Even though they said it was somebody named Junie or Ju, I can't think of her name. Huh? Juna. Bingo. And also, also, Deborah. What was that? Deborah? Deborah. But Deborah was in the Old Testament, wasn't she? Deborah. She was in the Old, right? Yes. Okay. I get that. But, but my point was this. Uh, they said there's no more apostles, there's no more this, no more that. But why would Jesus write, or Paul write in Ephesians 4? There you go. I've given some apostles, prophets, pastors, pastors and evangelists, and pastors. pastors and teachers, if there's no more, to do what? To edify and build the church. Amen. So when he stopped and he stopped, come he on. He did not. He did not. Exactly, sis. He, he did not. He carried it over. And, and listen, he told you. Yes. He told you to in the spirit. Exactly. In the spirit. Okay? So you have to know the person by the spirit. I and tell people the all the time. Of God, how do you know you're person, really called? How do you know you're really called? You can't do nothing but by the spirit. You know, I mean, before they ordained me, I had been doing the work for 15 years. That's what I'm talking about. See? Uh, everybody else is jumping and howling. Oh, my God. I'm like, brother, you just don't know. The fire's going to turn up now. Mm -hmm. It caught up with me. I didn't catch up with it. Right, 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 right. And I didn't pay for it. Amen? Mm -hmm. It caught up with me. Mm -hmm. Your calling, you should be doing it despite it. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you're doing what you're doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. And naturally, I, I tell people a lot of times, you're going to know your calling because your calling is the sin you was in. Ooh, see? Your calling was the spirit you decided to dwell in. Mm. So if you came out of drug addiction, you need to be helping someone else get out of drug oh, yeah. addiction. Oh, yeah. If you came out of homelessness, you need to be helping someone get out of homelessness. Mm -hmm. Amen? If you came out of being hungry, you need to keep out in the mentally ill prison, all of it. That's why I love doing what I'm doing. Who's looking for the big audience? Not me. I'm looking for that one soul. What's up, my bro? How you doing today? Great. Good. Good. Go here. <laughs> man, that's the whole thing. Good. Good Go for here. you, man. Oh, good for you. Watch it. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle right now. Um, but let's get back to scripture where we were at. Because we, we can go all day. I want, I want, we don't have to call each other, brother. Where, what church are you going to, by the way? Come on up here and introduce yourself. You might as well get up here and introduce yourself and your wife. Uh, I'm Pastor Mel Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife is Apostle Gloria Washington. We're from a different pathway. Uh, we come out of a Apostle Janine Griffin uh, called Iron Shop Design. Amen. Uh, we've been coming here for a lot of years. A lot of years. My brother was here. He died a year before last. Her brother was here. And uh, we just been uh, ministering through here. You know what I mean? And we just love the people here because uh, what God has uh, done for me and my wife you know what I mean? And uh, we just, we, 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 before I had the surgery, we was coming here every other, twice a, twice a month on Saturdays, preaching and teaching, and we was coming doing NAAA. So Amen. we just, we love the word, and me and my wife teach the word, we preach the word, and we, that's why we sit under you, we're like, hey, we're going to sit under you today. Appreciate Listen, that. I will learn just like everybody else. Amen. Thank you. you. Thank this, you. This, this, is, this, is, this is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. Yeah. This is not a coincidence. We're definitely be talking. Well, again, uh, 
Me and Pastor are going to hook up with something. I know we're going to do something. <laughs> I, wish, I wish we can uh, find a way to notify a lot more people in this building because when I came here, I didn't know a cousin.